Hi there everyone. Uh, this is my review of the Las Vegas Golden Knights jersey. Uh, it just came out on sale today. Uh, I was literally the first person uh, in my regular shop to have bought one. Um, I saw the hockey guys, um, his take on them, and he's, he's very pessimistic about it. He thinks they're too much money and they didn't make any significant changes, this, that, and the other. Now, the store I went to, they didn't have that many of the new jerseys. Uh, obviously, they had Vegas, um, they had Pittsburgh, they had Edmonton, uh, they had Chicago. Uh, those were the only ones I really looked at because, you know, I was more concentrated on this one. And I noticed in his video... He didn't mention anything about the crests or the uh, shoulder patches. And that is one thing that is, it's far superior uh, on these jerseys than it ever was on the replica Reeboks. And I'll show you. Uh, just look at that embroidery. Like, that is nice. Like the crest, it's, uh, it feels way better. I mean, I have a, um, an authentic, um, uh, well, CCM of uh, the Florida Panthers. And it's, it's not bad, but um, this is good. And for the price, I think it was very reasonable. Uh, he was concerned that these uh, new jerseys are going to wrinkle. Uh, perhaps they will, but they definitely look like they could be ironed. Uh, that doesn't really look like too much of an issue. Um, I remember him commenting about uh, the collar. He uh, didn't like the collar because he thought it was a little tight. Um, I suppose it is, but it's it's perfectly fine just wearing them. It's, it's not much different from a t-shirt, really. Uh, I suppose if you're actually exercising or, you know, on the ice with them, it might be different. They might change that in the future, but I don't know. Well, the sizes are different. Um, as you can see, um, that they're not classified as medium, large, extra large anymore. I believe they come in uh, 44 and 50 and 55s, or was it 46? Something like that. Uh, I could fit in a 44, but I wanted a little bit more room because this is Vancouver after all, so it kind of gets cold and I like to wear a sweater under my jersey sometimes. Um, one thing he also criticized, the hockey guy, was he didn't like the um, the, uh, the new NHL patch. Uh, nothing wrong with it. It's uh, definitely been added on. Uh, I think it looks alright. Feels fine. Uh, and then we'll have a closer look at these uh, shoulder patches. Like, those are all stitched on. They're not just, you know, basically glued on like the replica jerseys from Reebok. And, you know, that is, that's solid. And, like, the shoulders are fine. Like, they got a little bit more, uh, a little bit of different feel to them. But uh, yeah, they're perfectly fine. Like, and the colors, they're so vibrant on, these, on this jersey. And especially on the Edmonton one. Uh, the tint of the orange was different. And, you know, um, I'm not in a rush to get it because I, uh, I picked up the Reebok replica of the Edmonton Oiler, the orange jersey, uh, on Black Friday last year. So I'm not really in a hurry to get the new one. Um, I might get it in the future though. I don't know. I suppose uh, it all depends uh, Yeah, it's got the fighting strap of course That's pretty important. I don't have many jerseys with a fighting strap only one other And uh, Here's the inside How it looks Stitched all around That feels nice. Uh, the hockey guy was also uh, very critical of this dot. To me, it's very inoffensive. You can hardly even see it. And it is no worse than the uh, replica 
uh, Reebok where it was that, you know, big gray rectangle. It's, it's a little circle, that's all it is. And actually, if you really wanted to take this thing off, you could do it without damaging the jersey. It, it would not be difficult at all. Uh, that's being anal retentive. Uh, not to be, you know, a jerk in saying so, but it's true. Um, I can understand when you're used to paying, you know, bare minimum for a jersey that, um, you know, you don't really want to pay 200 bucks for it. I mean, I did because it's an awesome jersey. I've paid more for that for replicas. I paid 250 for an Alex Ovechkin replica. I paid um, 250 for a Patrick Kane replica. And, uh, you know, I've never seen the uh, TGH. Um, I've never seen him wear a Patrick Kane jersey. I'm not saying he doesn't have one, I've just never seen him wear one. I haven't watched all his videos. Uh, this, I mean, this gold here, it looks glittery, but it's not. Like, it's just, uh, it, it's, it's not like glitter. That's not going to come off. Uh, what else we got going on here? Uh, have a quick look at the back, I suppose. It's got the Adidas. Pretty inoffensive. Little tiny little thing there. Uh, like this, uh, even the sweatband here. Oh, I like that sweatband. It's, uh, it feels like, like, cause that is where people sweat because Around your neck is where the carotid arteries are, so when your body heats up, your neck's going to be hot, and you got to be able to cool yourself down, because when you pour water on the back of your neck, this will retain it, and it will cool you down. So that's an improvement. Um, as a matter of fact, I would say that the authentic Adidas is better than the authentic uh, CCM or probably the authentic um, yeah yeah well definitely the CCM I don't I don't have um, I don't have an authentic Reebok but um, you know it was different time things cost different amounts of money yada 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 there's reasons for everything but I think this is a very fair price for this jersey and you know, this is the first wave of them, and they're, from what I see, pretty impeccable, because quite often, when I bought uh, replica jerseys, and, uh, like, you know, I bought them brand new, they would still have, like, a string loose here or there, or something like that, and, um, you know... If you tugged it the wrong way, it could really unravel. It wouldn't unravel jersey, but it, w it would. It could leave a mark, like as far as an indentation where uh, a bit of string had been ripped. If you do it incorrectly, um, that's you know something to know. Um, this doesn't have any of that, and I just can't get over this crest. Take another look at it. Like that embroidery is nice. That's indentation, and. It's just like, it's the subtleties, you know? It is just way better jersey. Uh, but definitely, he, he is right in saying don't run out and buy new ones if uh, there's not much difference between them and the old ones. But as far as the Chicago one, I have three Chicago jerseys. I have uh, the red Patrick Kane, which I put Captain on for some reason. I've got a Jonathan Taves white one, and I've also got a green one. I like the green one, but its crest is horrible on it. It's just a pathetic crest, really. Whatever. But it's still an awesome jersey. But the authentic Adidas Chicago Blackhawks jersey is outstanding. The shoulder uh, crests on it, shoulder patches, um, they're just so much more alive. And they, they got way more going on than, uh, than the old ones. The old ones, it looked like a you know cheap bit of plastic thrown on. So, I mean, I was, you know, I'm criticizing uh, THG on his, um, on his rationale for the new jerseys. I mean, the guy's got over a hundred of them. 
he really, you know, he could slow down on collecting jerseys and it wouldn't affect him too much. I mean, there was only seven days in a week. So, you know, if he doesn't want to spend 200 bucks, that's fine. But I'm just saying that's, it's a bit critical. Like, I have way less jerseys than he does. I have 34. But, you know, I haven't been collecting as long either. I've only been collecting two years. And, um, you know, this is... Well, I, I mean, I have a couple of jerseys that are older than that. But for the most part, I've been collecting for two years. And um, I, I think he was too harsh on something he doesn't know too much about. Um, I mean, I guarantee you, a lot of those jerseys he picked up on the cheap... Uh, more than he admits are used and or they're just jerseys that have been hanging around for a long time and um, they weren't selling and now they're being wholesaled uh, somewhere else uh, like when I saw him get a Shea Weber uh, Nashville Predators jersey uh, Shea Weber had been off the team for some time when he had got that jersey so that jersey was considerably out of date and you know, Full Moon, it, it, it was solid advice for him to suggest that as a website to check out. Um, I haven't bought anything from it because, you know, I haven't seen anything I particularly like on it. Uh, the Chris Pronger one, the black one that he picked up, um, you know, for he said he paid 20 bucks plus shipping for it. That's not bad going, but I guarantee you the crest on it is a piece of junk. Um... There were a couple of other jerseys that looked alright. Like there was a black Vancouver Canuck Ryan Kessler one I saw that looked alright. That wasn't too much money. But actually, um, I was able to pick up for 80 bucks. Uh, it's coming by snail mail, so it's going to take forever to get here. Is the alternate Columbus Blue Jackets uh, jersey where it's the cannon. And I got that for 80 bucks without shipping. Brand new. And that with Nick Foligno on the back. So it is a brand new jersey. That is a good price. I mean, when you're, when you're saying, oh, I'm not paying more than, you know, 50, 60 bucks for a jersey, then, you know, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I guess it's a whole other ball game now. Anyway, I'm really happy with this jersey, so my take on it is if the jersey looks different than any other uh jersey that you have and you want to collect a jersey it is totally worth the money anyway talk to you guys later have a good one